Welcome back to the double feature. You already know the drill. Two games, one video. I'm not even gonna bother saying that all these games are random because they're not anymore. Okay, that hasn't been true about this series for a really long time, so whatever. It's, ju it's just two games, okay? This is the series where I cover two games in a single video because reasons, that's why. So I did mention in the previous double feature that this would most likely be the next double feature that I would do, and also the last double feature that I would do for the entire year. I don't think I ever mentioned anything about this video being the last normal gameplay video for the rest of 2021, but that's exactly what it's going to be. Indeed, this is the last video that I will be uploading this year before I take some time off just to spend the holidays with my family and just unwind for the most part. And we're gonna be ending off the year with another double feature. I do believe this is actually the third year in a row where I am ending off the year with a double feature video, uh, if you don't count the special end of year videos that I made for 2019 and 2020. In which case, those are actually the final videos I made for those years, but in terms of, like, standard gameplay videos, this is the third time in a row where I'm ending it with a double feature. And we're gonna be ending the year by showcasing the last of Vector Park's public releases. I did mention before that there's only two other games from Vector Park that I need to cover on the channel before I am finally through with all of their games. By the time this video goes live, I will have covered all of Vector Park's games, or at least the ones that are available on itch.io, on my channel. After that, there's not going to be any more videos that I will be doing of Vector Park's games, at least until they release another new game. And I don't have the foggiest idea when exactly that's going to happen, because it's already been four years since Sandcastles came out, but I digress. So the games that I'm going to be showing in this video are called Levers and Seasons, and we are going to start with Levers first. I don't really know a single thing about Levers, the only thing I know is that it is a really old game. Uh, it was actually released the exact same year as Park, this also came out in 2001. It is the second game that Vector Park ever released publicly. And the only real thing I know about it is that it is a physics-based game, I don't know if it's necessarily meant to be a puzzle game, or if this is just another, like, little physics toy similar to Acrobots. It's probably the latter, most likely. So I have not played this game off-screen at all, and I am just going to try and mess around with this. Okay, uh, it seems like that is a, a little, like, ornament of some sort. Okay, wait a second, why- how come I can't, like, uh... Okay, that was really weird. I couldn't- I couldn't drag it to the right side of the screen for some reason. It was just stuck to the left side. Okay, so... I hang it on this, uh... Oh, is this, like, a, a weight of some sort? Uh, okay. There's just clothespins that are falling from the sky. Okay. Why is there, like, an ocean underneath us? I don't understand. There we go. We have to- we have to balance it out. Oh god, we're gonna create, like, a really weird, like, combination of stuff here, aren't we? Okay, that's a submarine. Give me the submarine. Oh yeah, all- all the objects appear to have clotheslines on them. Oh my actual goodness. Okay. Hopefully- I don't know. Is it possible for me to, like, break these at all? I don't know. This seems bizarre. Kinda seems like this is not how physics should work. Okay. That's a, a, a glass of water. There we go, balance it out with the glass of water. Oh, good lord. Uh, oh, something, oh, wait a second. It didn't activate the timer for some reason. Oh, okay, because this thing is going like a little, uh, I think, I think the problem is that it's tilting a little too much. Okay, wait, hang on a second. What if I put the submarine all the way up here, and then the little, little bowling ball ornament? No, that's actually still not working. Okay, wait a second. Okay, well then, where where exactly do I want to put you then? Because I actually have no idea. Yeah, I guess a lot. I guess a lot of these objects have like different weights to them. Okay, that that actually makes sense. Okay, that that time it actually worked. Okay, so I guess I guess this is more like a like a puzzle game than anything else. Okay, I have to put them in the correct positions. I'm assuming. Okay, so there there are some things that I'm gonna have to like move out of the way here. Like, put this up. Uh, here we go. Gotta try and balance it out a little bit. Uh, wow, that is- that is swinging around quite a bit, though. See, that's the only thing I don't like about that in particular. What is this? Is that a birdhouse? The birdhouse is going into the- into the ocean. 
Wait, that really doesn't work. Oh my god, is is it bending? I can't tell if it's bending or not. Okay, what if I were to take this out, place this... Oh my god, that is... That's not how that is gonna work at all. Oh god, there's a bird that flew out. Um, hello, you're just sitting on the line now. Could you g get get off, please, and go back to your, to your home? No? Alright, well, that- oh god, there's more birds coming out. What is happening? Okay, how exactly are we gonna- are we gonna solve this here? Uh, something- something is dragging this down for absolute sure. What if I were to put this all the way up here? There we go, just- it just flies all the way to the- to the top. There we go, I think. Oh my god, everything feels like it's about to break here. Like, part of me feels like these- these clothespins are just gonna like- they're gonna like bend to the point where they just snap completely. Uh, okay, where, where do I want to put this clothesline? Tiny clothesline right here? No, because everything's just going to drop into the ocean again. I got an idea. What if I put another clothes, a clothespin, like, way up here, perhaps? Yeah, or, or, or is it that we have to, like, keep everything out of the water? I don't really know. All I figured out so far... Oh, there's a snowman, by the way. Okay, well, we better take him out of the water, because he's going to melt if he stays in there. So what I'm guessing is that we have to make sure that nothing falls into the water, otherwise, uh, yeah, other- <laughs> otherwise, this- this timer is gonna, like, reset, basically. Okay, yeah, these birds are completely screwing up the, uh, the balance of all these clothespins, though, I noticed, because, yeah, they're- they're- they're putting weight on the clothespin. Okay, you guys are annoying the frick out of me. You know what? Get- get back in your birdhouse. One of them did actually go back inside the birdhouse, I noticed. Please and thank you. Get- oh my god. Hang on a minute. One of them did go back inside the birdhouse. Okay, well, hang on. I have an idea. What if I balance this out with the snowman? Oh, there we go. They're kind of- they're kind of going up a little bit higher. There we go. I think that is mostly good. I guess having a snowman here is appropriate considering it is- it is almost winter now. There we go. Just smoking a pipe. There we go. You just smoke that pipe, my friend. Oh my god. That is a tiny clothespin, though. What'd I use that for? I have no idea. Oh god, that's falling. I think we're still gonna make it though. Okay, yeah. Uh, wh oh god, what is that? Is that a squid? Uh, I think it's a squid. Yeah, that's basically more or less what it is. It's wearing a, a little hat as well, I see. Oh my god, these birds. These birds are giving me anxiety, guys. I'm sorry, but they are just like... Every time they, they jump off of the clothespins, everything bounces upwards, and it's like... <laughs> It's l legit giving me anxiety. You need to just stop right now. Oh god, why why are these clothespins getting smaller, though? No! Don't you dare! Okay, we still got it, though. We still got it. Uh, this is... A rock? Of some sort? At least I think that's what it is. Okay, I don't want to put this... Oh god, no. I can't put that all the way down to the bottom. I can't put that down to the bottom because... Dude, I can't even see where... Where did the rock go? The rock's just gone. I didn't want to get rid of the submarine. Hang on a second. I want to put the submarine back. I want to disconnect the birdhouse. Uh, oh god, okay, this is... this is bad. Actually, I may need to disconnect the submarine for a second. I may want to put you up here, perhaps. And then birdhouse here. Uh, bowling ball... How would I put you on the small one? Oh god, that's gonna go down way too far. Oh god, the submarine's probably gonna add a whole bunch of weight on this as well. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Take the rock, put it up here... Or, or like, on onto one of the bigger close, clo close lines, close pins, whatever the heck. I can't say words right now. Words are difficult. Words are very difficult for me to say. Okay, you know what I think I should do? This close line right here, this small one... What if I were to put the bowling ball on it? Yeah, maybe maybe that requires like a tinier object uh, to go on that. So I'm thinking like this. Oh god, yeah, the snowman is melting. Keep him out of the water, for goodness sakes. He's like, his entire torso is like getting destroyed. Okay, what if I were to, hang, hang on a second. Maybe, maybe what I want to get is the squid. I want to get the squid on here, perhaps. And I'll place the submarine all the way up on the top. Oh god, the squid is actually trying to get away from the water, interestingly. Like, look at him. Do you see him? He's trying to- he's- he's trying to push everything upwards. Okay, he's fighting back against the birds, guys. He's on our side. He's definitely on our side. What in God's name is the- hello? Zeus, is that you? I don't even know. Who is this? 
Who is this person? I, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything I can attach you to, though. That's the only thing. Oh, yeah, he's trying to push everything up. Actually, is, uh... I, I was kind of wondering if maybe my cursor was causing him to do that. Okay. Well, I mean, I need to I need to replace you with something, then. I have to replace you with something. Where do I put this rock? It doesn't seem like there's any other place I can put you. Oh my god, dude, I just noticed. Look at the snowman. The snowman is like... he He's basically dead. I mean, you'd you'd totally be dead at that point if your torso, if the bottom half of your of your body was just completely torn off like that, you, you'd be deceased. Okay, I'm gonna do something stupid, guys. I'm going to disconnect all of this for a moment. Oh, everything actually stays connected. Okay, well, just throw them in the water for a second, because what I would like to do is maybe connect that, and then, uh, um, oh god, wait, wait. Disconnect this as well, and maybe put this back up. Oh god, it's all gonna shift to this, to one side now, though. Okay, actually, I changed my mind. This is a stupid idea. Hold on, we can try something out here. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. There's no like, there's no other like clothesline I can connect this guy to, though. Unless this is just it. Maybe this is like the end of the game. I don't exactly know. Hang on a second. Let me try this, and then. Oh, hang on a second. Maybe this is one of those cases where I have to actually kill the snowman. Do I need to just straight up murder him? I don't know. I mean, his torso is like disappearing completely. Do I need to let him drown? Oh my goodness gracious. His arms, his arms just fell off, dude. Okay, well, I mean, if there's less weight on him, I guess, but... Oh yeah, he just keeps disappearing more and more. Like, he's just a head now. He's literally just a head. Oh my actual goodness. Okay, he's... Oh wait, no. I think the reason why he was melting was because I was placing him near that rock. Oh, this must be like a molten rock or something. Okay, well, he's gone now. He's just a hat. He's just a hat now. Oh no. Oh no, I just completely murdered the snowman. I'm so sorry. Well, hang on a second. Then put the hat here. Oh, there we go. Everything flies back upwards. That's good, at least. Okay, but we're... I guess I, I don't really have a place to put the submarine now, so are we just... I'm gonna guess that we're probably just done. We're probably just done now, because... There there may not be any more, like, actual... Items for me to, um... <laughs> to, to add here. Maybe that's it. Like, maybe those are all of the items that I can, I can mess around with. Maybe at this point, it's just a matter of messing around with the physics. In which case, uh... I guess that's it for this game. I mean, if that actually is it for the entire game, then I, I may as well just move on to the next one. Oh, what in the world? Oh, I did not know I could do that. Oh, there's like a little, uh, yeah, there's like a little tap right here that drains the water. Oh, did not know you could do that. Okay, wait a second. Maybe the other, maybe some of the other objects are interactable then. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna, if, if I throw this cup back into the water, then, yeah, or back into the ocean, then it's gonna fill with water. Okay, what exactly do I drain it for, though? Can I try cooling off the the rock with the water? Or does that, does that even do anything? I don't think it, I don't think it actually does anything. Oh? Okay, I can apparently put the hat on top of the timer itself? And that actually apparently triggers something. Okay, wait a second. Hang on a minute now. Hold on a second. Okay, well, hold, hold. Just hold for a moment, because I may have, I may have unlocked the key to something. Hang on, can you... Oh, oh no, I can't actually cause you to, to like, to try and swim upwards by left-clicking on you. Oh, okay. Where exactly, where exactly do I want to place the, the freaking giant Zeus head? Where, where do I want to place you? I don't think I want to place you all the way at the bottom, because you're gonna just end up dragging everything down. Hold on a second. This... Yeah, you... Because you have a lot of weight attached to you. That's the problem. I gotta find something to, to balance you out with. Is it the rock, perhaps? Whoa, hang on a second. This is just very, like, wobbly. Well, I mean, the squid is trying his best. He's absolutely trying his hardest here, but... Where exactly should, should the friggin' Zeus head go here? Because this is the guy who has the most amount of weight by far. Maybe I can put him on this side in particular... Try to balance him out with the submarine? Perhaps? 
I don't quite know, but it's worth a shot. Okay, what about what about the other side here? Maybe put him on the right side. Okay, well now I need to figure out what exactly is dragging everything else down. Hang on a second. Maybe I need to get the friggin' birds out of the way. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe I need to get you guys to go back into the friggin' birdhouse. But you always keep, like, running away from it, though. That's- that's the issue. Fine, then. You know what? What if I put the squid on the side of the- uh, the, the- the head? Okay, this is definitely not it. Because it's just causing- it's causing the squid to just, like, fly upwards now. Yeah, he's all the way at the top. He can't even push anything up. Oh, I got- I got it, I think. Oh god, Zeus's eyes are glowing now. What does that mean? What exactly does that mean? Hello? I'm gonna assume that means I did something correct, am I right? I don't know, why exactly are you glowing now? Yeah, the icon changed, it changed to a sun. Does that mean we can just disconnect him? Like, what if we drop him back into the water now? Will he- will he transform into something different? No, it doesn't seem like he does. Okay, what if we just- what if we just disconnect everything? I guess- I guess this means that we can't actually, like, we can't actually connect anything else now, can we? No, because this icon's just not even changing anymore. Okay, so I think- I think that pretty much means that we are done, then. Because if that icon is not gonna change anymore, then I think it's fair to say that we actually beat the game? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna say that we probably beat the game because that icon is not changing anymore. Yeah, occasionally it does change to a snowman's head, but I think that's just telling me, like, it's just trying to tell you that you can actually place the hat on top of the timer itself. But I guess in order to actually place the hat on top of the timer, you need to melt the snowman, so that's actually a requirement. Yeah, I don't really know what else to do. I guess at this point, the only real objective now is to just mess around with the, uh, the, the physics engine here, but I'm not really interested in doing that. I'm gonna just say that I, I pretty much beat the entire game. So I think with that, we are going to move on to the next game now. So that's Levers. That was still pretty interesting, though. Yeah, just an interesting little physics-based puzzle game where you're attaching clotheslines to everything and trying to balance out the weight of different objects. I guess the overall objective is that you have to keep the objects out of the water, and then you get new objects that you can attach to the clotheslines, and everything has their own, uh, yeah, everything has their own little, like, uh, handle here. Yeah, it's still pretty neat overall. It's, uh, a little basic, if I may be honest with you, but... It's still an interesting little physics puzzler that you can mess around with for a few minutes at a time, so it, it definitely does remind me of Acrobots in that regard, but yeah, I, I don't really know what else there is to do now, so I think with that being said, we are just going to move on to the next game here, so let's just go play Seasons. Right, so the last game that I have here is called Seasons, and I have no idea what this one entails either, because I didn't play it off screen. This is one of Vector Park's more recent games, but that's not really saying a lot, because it's still pretty old. This one came out in 2010, and I imagine you're just cycling through some of the seasons. And speaking of cycling, you have this weird bean-like creature on a unicycle. You're just kind of riding around with with his legs here. Okay, there's a bunch of people uh, skating on the uh, the frozen pond here. You can just kind of... Oh my god, you can kind of like rotate them around. Yeah, you can straight up collide with them, it seems. Okay, so what exactly... Uh, I don't know what we're actually doing here. Oh, okay. Gotta remove the snow from the trees. Oh wow, these are some very rubbery trees right here. Yeah, everything is still physics-based. Again... Very impressed with, uh, what Vector Park was able to do with Flash back in this time. Uh, do I have to f do I- do I have to, like, melt the pond somehow? Maybe that's what I gotta do. Uh, what exactly- what exactly do I have to do with you guys right here? Do I need to just collide with you, or can I just leave? Okay, never mind, I guess I could just leave. Seasons with Thomas! Okay. This little guy's name is Thomas, apparently. Alright, so we're cycling through- Oh, Jesus Christ, what is that? Oh god, he's launching snowballs at us. Okay, is there any reason why you're doing this? Oh god, there's like two towers that are- that are launching snow at us. Oh frick, it- okay. If it's a snowball fight you want, it's a snowball fight you're gonna get. Oh god, why are there more of them popping up? Okay. So we're kind of like making trails in the snow here. Wait, I don't understand. Am I supposed to like knock him- Am I supposed to, like, knock him off the, uh, off of his unicycle, or am I supposed to, like... Am I supposed to actually do anything? Or is this just, like, one of those things where it's kind of like, uh, like an interactive animation, essentially? Because can I just leave? Yeah, I can't just leave. Okay. 
I guess there's not really a whole lot of things that I actually need to do here. Okay, now his unicycle is melting all of the snow. Alright, so we need to change the season from uh, winter to spring. I'm assuming, because I don't really know what in the world is happening right now. Oh man, that's actually really satisfying though, look at that. Okay, what is, is that Groundhog? Are you Groundhog? Oh god, that's a bird. Okay, hang on, can I interact with you at all? No, it doesn't, does not seem like I can't. Wait, can I... Circle around him. No, I actually can't. Okay, I can't go in that hole. Okay, got a worm. Got a little bug right here. Okay, are you guys just gonna, like, like, stare at me this whole time? Is that, is that what's going on here? Oh, okay, maybe I need to, I need to reveal all of the holes here. There we go. Oh, and all the flowers start to, start to, uh, blooming again. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, I think I see what I'm doing now. I think I see what it is that I have to do. I see, I see my mission. I see my goal in life now. Yeah, there we go. Get all the flowers to bloom again. On the hill. Oh, it's very nice. It looks very pretty. Okay, got a snake. Oh, was that actually the groundhog over there? I, I have no idea. There's a lot of really weird creatures that are just popping out of these holes. May as well be playing a good old game of whack-a-mole right now with all these holes in the ground. There we go. Maybe something interesting will happen if, uh, if I melt all of the snow. Yes? Okay, I guess not. Wait, there, there's more, there's more, uh, flowers that are blooming here. Or those all of them. Maybe that's all of them? Okay. Yeah, well, we just, uh, right around the holes right here, there's just little, little <laughs> woodland creatures that pop out, like a bird, rabbit. Oh, no, that's actually a mole over there. Uh, oh, no, now it's a, now it's like a, 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 is that a squirrel? It's been replaced with a squirrel? Oh, God, that just looks like a straight-up alien. But it may just be a normal bug. I have no idea. Worm, bird... Alien, parasite, I don't freaking know. Okay, I'm terrified. I'm just terrified. Let's just get out of here. I like the snake, though. The snake's really cute. Okay, now what's happening? Got sh cloud shadows. Do I have to get into the box? Yes, I do have to get in the box. Wait, is the box like a giant bird head? With a beak? And a flag? Okay, what are we doing now here? Oh, God. What is going on? Uh, wait, do we need to make the flowers bloom? I see. Okay. That's pretty neat. Yeah, again, one of the things that I love about Vector Park's games is that everything is, like, so interactable. Or, or the fact that their games are so interactive, because pretty much everything that you can see in the game, you can definitely interact with. And it's all physics-based as well, which is the, the really interesting part. There we go. Just gotta make the flowers bloom, I guess, by just, uh, yeah, just riding my unicycle around them. I see. I see what's going on here. Okay. I don't trust that wasp nest over there, but I'm assuming I'm gonna have to do something with that as well eventually. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go deal with that in a second. I don't feel comfortable going anywhere near that, but just hang on. Hang on a moment. Maybe what we'll do is that we're we're gonna take all the wasps out of the nest or like call them out so they can go and uh pollinate the flowers? Maybe that's what we're doing. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm charging it! Oh my goodness, there we go. Took them all out. Okay, are, are you, are you, don't attack me, please. Uh, oh yeah, that, that is exactly what they're doing. They're going to pollinate the, the flowers. Very nice indeed. I am a very smart individual for figuring that out all on my own. Okay, but I'm gonna guess that they're probably not gonna do anything else now other than that. Yeah, because I can just knock them out and then I can send more of them towards the flowers to go pollinate them. Okay, but there's no, like, animation showing them, like, taking out all of the, the pollen? No? Okay. Well, I guess, I guess this is just, like, an animation, like a simple animation that I can trigger whenever I want. Okay. Well, still looks pretty damn cool, though. There we go. I, I made all the flowers bloom for you guys, at the very least, so there we go, yes. You, you can thank me later, okay? It does seem like you're mostly friendly, because you're not attacking me, you're just going to attack the flowers. Good. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else for us to do here, so we'll continue onwards. Oh, there's that pond again. Okay, we're going inside the pond. <laughs> uh, did that change anything? No, well, I mean, we leave behind a little trail of water now. Oh yeah, we definitely do. Kind of just fizzles out after a while, though. Okay. So, it doesn't seem like there's really anything else left for us to do there. Okay, so moving on. Uh, maybe we're in the summer now? I'm guessing? Oh, God, why is there a miniature Thomas? Why is there a miniature Thomas coming out of coming out of that flower? Oh, God, there's another one. I don't understand. 
Oh god, I have like multiple siblings. Oh god, is that is that my is that is that the mother? Is that my my mom? Is that Thomas's mom? I mean, or just one of his siblings? I don't know. This is this is already weird and creepy. So, in other words, it's not unlike any of Vector Park's other games. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can run over the leaves and they actually get like flattened a little bit. Wow. Again, man, the attention to detail here is phenomenal. It really is. Okay, that's a fence. Oh, there's a lot of really tall grass. There's grasshoppers that are just jumping out of it. Okay, crash into the fence! Oh yeah, I can I can straight up, like, crash, like, break down the fence right here. Look at this. Look at that, for goodness sakes. Okay, well, that's pretty neat. Yeah. All of Vector Park's games are, like, so physics-based, dude. Alright, well, don't really know what the point of that fence is other than that. I guess we'll just continue on. I don't know what else to do there. Uh, oh god, we're in the middle of a desert now? Okay, what are we doing here? There's a windmill in the background. There's another another wheel of some sort that I can't seem to drive over? No, Thomas just avoids it altogether. Oh, what is that? Is that a tractor over there in the background? Wait, can I go and can I go and inspect that? If I possibly can. Yeah, I can go into the background. Okay, what is that what is this? Oh, I just I just avoid it. Oh god. Okay, wait, is it following me? I don't I don't actually know if it is or not. Are you like planting something? I don't really know what you're doing. But I can kinda like I can throw you off course, like, very slightly. <laughs> yeah, what is this path that it left behind? My god. I, I mean, I know that I'm the one to blame for that, but still, it looks like the driver has no clue what he's doing. Possibly, uh, DUI right here. Oh, we can go even further into the background. We can go and inspect the, the windmill. Or, or can we? We can, okay, I guess we can barely go anywhere near the windmill. Okay, fine then. I don't know what else to do in this area. Move on. Move on with your life. Okay, I already don't like this. Um, middle of the night, inside a forest with a bunch of dead trees. Oh, we just lit the campfire. Okay. What do we What do we do with it now? Be careful not to burn down the entire forest. Holy crap! It really is a, a nice little blaze that we that we've set right here. Yeah, just just circle around the campfire right here. It's almost like I'm performing some sort of a uh, some sort of ritual right here. What, you never circled around a campfire on a unicycle in the middle of a forest before? Oh god, did the forest actually get even darker? Okay, I'm not comfortable anymore. Get out- I need to get out of here. Get out of here. Good lord, man. That was just terrifying. Actually, I'm just kind of curious. Can I go back to that area? Oh, okay, so I can actually go back to previous areas. Oh yeah, okay, it gets- it gets darker when I light the fire. Oh, alright. That's, that's, that's why. Okay, I don't know why I didn't notice that before, but... <laughs> I can still go up the hill, though, apparently. Oh, God! Why do I have a bird head? Excuse me? Um... Oh, my lord. Why do I have an eyeball? I have an eyeball for a head. Oh, okay. So every time I go in between the tree is, my head changes. Like, what- wait, what sort of head do I get right here? Excuse me, why can you not turn to the right? I'm trying to make you turn right. Okay, birdhouse for a head. What was the other thing I got there for a minute? Uh, Pac-Man? Okay, Pac-Man head. I turn into Pac-Man. I turn in- oh, I turn into a ghost? Okay. I turn into a pumpkin? Telling spooky ghost story- okay, so I guess we are in the fall. I don't even know what this is. Looks like some sort of medieval helmet or like a, a paper bag of some sort. What What is this game, dude? God, Vector Park's games are so freaking, like, bizarre and whimsical at the same time, and that's why I love them so much. Okay, fine. Let's let's go with Mr. Pumpkinhead, then. Let's freaking do it, bud. Let's go. Let's keep, keep on going. Do I get to keep it? Oh, no, I don't get to keep it, unfortunately. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't know why it's so hard to maneuver Thomas around sometimes. I guess it's because he can't collide with any of the solid objects, but still, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's like when I'm trying to get him to turn to the right, he turns the opposite direction. It's very strange. Go over the bridge. Actually, can I go inside the, the pond? Oh, I can. Okay, well, what's even the point of the bridge, then? Can I go underneath? 
No, it does not seem like I can... Oh, God, I can jump off of it, though. There we go. Get a little bit of air time right there. Very nice. Okay. Uh, keep on going. Okay, now we're in winter. Going back to winter. Uh, wait, is... Where's Thomas? Oh, he's... He's down here. Okay. Thomas is all the way into the... In the background now. Okay, so are we... Are we, like, back home now? Or... Whose home is this, exactly? I don't know, I want to go look at the snowman. Okay, I just completely murdered the snowman. Never mind, nobody saw anything at all. Nobody saw anything. Just go back in your house, Thomas. Good lord. You have had a really long day. I think I think Thomas is having like an acid trip or something. I think that's what this whole adventure is. He's just hallucinating. There we go. Just warm up your house. Light a nice fire. There we go. The smoke's coming out of the chimney. Oh, I can still, like, move around in here, it seems. Okay, well, there we go. I lit the fire at the very least. Okay, so can we can we still leave? Seems like we can. Oh, and we're actually back at the, uh, at the beginning of the game. Oh, can we actually go left this entire time? Oh, I guess we could have. Ah, so... Could we have actually done this in just any order that we wanted to? Maybe we could have. Uh, actually, I don't even know where Thomas is now. Hello, Thomas? Are you anywhere, bud? Okay, there you are. God, why does it take so long for you to appear on that screen? Like, that one screen in particular. All right, well, I guess that's it for Seasons, then, because, yeah, we just, we just ended up circling back to the very first screen, actually. So, I guess that's it. We beat the game? I, I guess this one doesn't really have a, uh, a specific ending that you can achieve, so it just kind of loops on itself indefinitely. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess with all that said and done, uh, we're gonna end the video here, because, I mean, that Seasons, I guess the game really does not have a definitive ending. It just loops on itself infinitely, so... There we go. I think that's all of the screens, and I'm pretty sure I actually did manage to complete levers, or I managed to complete it about as much as I could. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here. I do believe we are just done now. Alright, well, as per usual with the majority of Vector Park's games, uh, that was very strange, but also very magical at the same time. <laughs> Again, Vector Park really doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things with Flash. Like, again, just how? How do they do it? Physics-based 3D vector graphics, and I, I mean, the types of graphics that Flash uses is actually vector graphics, so... Maybe I shouldn't be surprised that this kind of stuff is possible to make in Flash. I mean, Flash itself does use vector graphics to draw scenes, so... I don't know, maybe I'm a little more impressed at this than I probably should be? But at the same time, man, what Vector Park has managed to accomplish with Flash over the past 20 years is... It's, it's nothing short of impressive, like it really is. I do feel like a lot of their games are basically just like very simple tech demos, but at the end of the day... They're a really good showcase as to what you can actually do with Flash, because Flash is way more powerful of a game engine than you might think it is. I mean, Flash is mostly well-known for its 2D capabilities, but I would say that it also makes for a pretty competent 3D engine as well, as Vector Park has proven time and time again. Yeah, that was pretty cool. We went on a little adventure with Thomas here, uh, wiping all the snow off the trees and making flowers bloom that also contained miniature Thomases inside of them for some reason, and then going into a dark-ass forest and moving behind all the trees, which apparently causes my head to change shapes. Yeah, that was, that was some pretty trippy stuff indeed. I don't really know what else to say about that. And Levers was also, like, an interesting little physics-based puzzle game where you had to, like, uh, you know, balance out the weight of each individual object. All while being annoyed by a bunch of birds who are just completely trying to sabotage all the work that you've, uh, accomplished up to that point. So, you know, fun stuff like that. But, anyway... I do believe that is where I'm going to end the video for now, because I cannot think of anything else to do, so there you go. That's Levers and Seasons, guys. If you want to download these games, the links are in the description. They're both available on itch.io. And with all that said and done, this marks the end of the last video that I will be uploading for 2021. So, as I always say, 
or at least I think I always say at the end of these videos, I don't know, I usually talk about a whole bunch of different stuff uh, at the end of the year, like when I upload the uh, end of the year videos or when I'm recording them. But as always, thank you guys for being here with me and thank you guys for supporting me. Uh, over this past year as well. I, I did notice that my subscriber count has definitely increased a lot faster than it normally does this year. Uh, the channel did recently hit 2,500 subscribers. I did want to point that out quickly. And that is a milestone that I have been trying to work my way towards for, well, the past 10 years now, pretty much, and we did finally hit it. We're now a quarter of the way to 10,000 subscribers. We're 25% of the way there now, and I really hope that we don't stop anytime soon. Maybe in 2022, we can finally try to hit 3k subs? Maybe that'll be the year-end subscriber goal for next year, perhaps. Yeah, I also wanted to mention as well, by the way, that my channel did recently hit a major anniversary this year. It turned 10 years old on December 9th. Yeah, my channel is is officially 10 years old now. I uploaded the first ever video to my channel on December 9th, 2011. That freaking video of, uh, LSD Dream Emulator. I don't really have anything more to add to that, because I'm not really the kind of person who usually celebrates major channel anniversaries like that, because it's just kind of like, you know, whatever. I I'm not really the kind of person who likes looking back at the past. I'm more so a person who would rather look forward to the future, you know what I mean? Especially since a lot of the videos I uploaded way back in the early days of my channel are honestly just complete garbage that I don't think any of you guys should really watch. So I don't really try to focus too much on that stuff, but I mean, yeah, I've been doing this for almost 10 years now. Well, I have been doing it for 10 years now. And, uh, yeah, all I can really say to that is I've been doing this crap for way too freaking long. But I am glad that I was able to convince at least 2,500 of you to subscribe to, uh, whatever the hell I do on YouTube. Because I don't really know. I've been doing Let's Play videos for 10 years now, and I still really have no idea what the hell I'm doing on this platform, but I'm learning as I go. That's always been the case ever since I started uploading videos back in 2011. Yeah, so I don't really know what else to say about that, because I'm usually really- I'm usually really bad at giving these sorts of monologues, to be perfectly honest with you, but the only reason why I even do these monologues in the first place is because, you know, it's the- the end of the year. This is usually a time when I like to look back at the last 12 months at least, just to see what I accomplished or managed to accomplish with the channel over the past year or so, and I mean, I would say that I accomplished one milestone that I've been, uh, trying to work at for- well, a good decade now, which is getting 2,500 subs, which the channel did finally hit. You know what I find really weird? A lot of my older videos are still getting a lot of viewers, even after all these years. I did actually look at my most popular videos recently, just to see, like, which of my, which of my videos are actually, like, getting viewers. And I'm always surprised at the fact that some of my older videos are still getting so many new viewers on them. Like, for instance, I took a look at my Evolution of Trust video recently, which I uploaded way back in 2017. That video has almost 30,000 views now, and I think when I checked the view count on that video at the beginning of this year, it was only at, like, 15,000. Yeah, so somehow the view count of that video doubled, despite the fact that it's already four years old now, and to be honest, it's probably one of the worst videos I ever made, because the commentary in that video is just really not good. It was one of those cases where I was playing a game about a subject that I didn't fully comprehend, but the person who made the game clearly did, so... Yeah, it kind of spelled disaster from the very beginning. I really don't even know why that video has done as well as it has, but... I mean, thank you guys for watching regardless. I do kind of feel like the majority of the new subscribers I got this year actually came from that video. <laughs> That's not to say that some of my newer videos haven't been blowing up, though, because I also noticed that my Heliopedia video has been getting a pretty big influx of viewers recently, and that's a video that I uploaded only like two months ago. That's at almost 3,000 views now, so again, thank you guys for that. Uh, my 3D Monster Maze video has also been kind of blowing up as well. So yeah, thank you guys for, you know, the support, of course, and thank you guys for actually, like, choosing to check out some of my newer videos instead of just sticking with my older ones. 
I still don't know why my older videos are still getting so many freaking views. I mean, my On The Run 2 video is still getting new views, and so is my Namco Museum Battle Collection video. I don't freaking know why, man. My 40 Toys video has also gotten a lot of new views as well. But I am glad that some people, at least, are beginning to discover some of my newer videos, so that definitely makes me happy. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to end this video, honestly, except, uh, well... Thank you guys for all the support that you've given me over the past decade. Thank you for, uh, helping me reach a milestone that I've been working at for, like, the past 10 years, getting 2,500 subs. The channel finally hit that. And I hope that I can continue to entertain you guys with more weird and bizarre videos, uh, in 2022. It's been a pretty interesting ride so far, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, so... We're gonna just keep on going, man. We're gonna just keep on trucking along, and next stop, I wanna try and see if I can hit 3,000 subscribers in the, the new year. We'll see if we can make it there in time, but I feel like I've been rambling for way too long now, so I'm just gonna end this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, I will, of course, see you in the next video I make, but just keep in mind that videos are going to be disappearing for at least a good three weeks. I will be back sometime in early January, and we're just gonna keep on playing more strange freaking games from Steam and itch.io, pretty much. None of those games are gonna be from Vector Park, though, because I've actually already played all of their games now, officially. I can finally say that I have. But there's probably some other very weird creator on itch that I'm probably gonna end up becoming obsessed with and wanting to, to like, cover all their games on my channel, so... Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see what happens. But, yeah... Thank you guys as always for watching, I will see you sometime in January of next year, and as always, Merry Christmas to all of you who do celebrate it, uh, please be safe, because I mean, we are still in the middle of a pandemic, of course. So yeah, have a safe and socially distanced Merry Christmas once again, and as always, have a Happy New Year. I'll see you guys sometime in January. Here, you know what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna- I'm gonna bring Thomas back over to this screen right here, I'm just gonna have him go inside the house, there we go. So he can just- he can just, like, rest up now, because he's- he's had a pretty long eventful day of, like, uh, yeah, being high on hallucinogenics while riding a unicycle. That doesn't sound like, uh, like a horrible idea at all. There we go, he's just gonna chill out in his- in his own home, his humble abode. There we go. Alright, well, anyway, guys, have a safe Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!